You have a, a 10 week old little girl, is that right? This is true. Congratulations. Have, thank you very much. Yeah. I have is a brand this new a, baby. This is your second? This is my third. Third. I have three girls. And, and how old are the girls? Uh, eight years old, five years old, and 10 weeks. Okay, now musically, uh, the 10 week is probably not a voice in music yet. 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 The eight year old for sure is, right? My eight year old loves music. All of my kids have that thing that you mm -hmm. need to Good. sing and play and do the whole thing. But, um, but sometimes their musical uh, taste is a little questionable. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not one to judge. Right. I was lucky. My parents never told me not to listen to any kind of well, music. Well, you can't. You can't. Let yeah. them just explore and find out. When, uh, when Violet was young, uh, when she was about two or three years old, she used to listen to music on my wife's iPod. Mm -hmm. And she was really into the Amy Winehouse record, right? Which is an amazing record. It's kind of weird to hear a three-year-old uh, sing the rehab song, you know? <laughs> I thought it was cute. <laughs> but so I come home from the road once, and, uh, I get, and I'm getting the car and we're driving, and all of a sudden I hear my daughter listening to this like gangster rap song. <laughs> and I turn to my wife, and I'm like, what is, what, is, what is that? She goes, oh, I was trying to download the song Rehab, but I messed up and I got this rapper named Rehab. Right? Oh. <laughs> and it, was, it wasn't like graphic or bad, but it was just, it just was not a good, I didn't think it was good music, this good song. So I turn to her and I say, uh, hey, Violet, what's that? And she says, oh, it's my new song. <laughs> it's her new song. And I said, I don't really think it's such a good song. And she goes, well, I like it. <laughs> and I said, well, I don't. Yeah. And she said, well, I do. And yeah. she listened to it eight times in a row. That's right. And it was right then that I realized I, I am a parent now. Mm -hmm. Parent now. That's and right. I have to just allow her to do her yeah. thing. Buckle in and get ready. Right. But then I, I immediately bought her a Beatles record. I'm like, no, 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 wait. <laughs> you got to get here first. But then. isn't that the thing about music? Music is music. Uh, yeah. Some people love it. Uh, other people might not love it as much. I think what happens is the reason why different people have music, different musical tastes is because you find yourself in someone else's song. So as you're going through life searching for your own identity, you hear a song that you connect with and then that becomes part of you. And so that's how she felt about rehab. <laughs> you, have, <laughs> you have a daughter who is a gangsta. Already, too. Now, uh, and what role did your parents play in your formative years for music? Well, both of my parents were musical. My mother was in singing groups when she was uh, in high school in Ohio, a cappella. My father was a classically trained flautist. So he was like studied and trained and had perfect pitch. Mm -hmm. And um, so around the house, there was, there was a lot of diversity. Like we would listen to Candide, you know, and then I, Neil Young and then Slayer and then you know it was all over the map but what I got to appreciate was that uh, music is such a beautiful art that it's you, you can't really mm -hmm. judge it you just have to let it in and yeah. appreciate it. Yeah. And when when they uh, recognized uh, early on your direction yeah. were they supportive of that pursuit? Yeah they were I mean you know my dad was such a, a trained musician that he'd say things like uh, you know don't just call yourself a musician because you play an instrument things like that <laughs> which made me you know, start playing punk rock. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, in your dad's mind, what did it take to be a musician other than playing an instrument? Well, I mean, you have to understand, like, I'm sure as a parent, you understand that you want to make sure the most important thing to you is that your kid is okay and mm -hmm. that they make their way through life smoothly without, you know. So, um, you know, and here I am with a mohawk or whatever, playing the fastest <laughs> I could play. And uh, I don't, and there wasn't really much career opportunity in that. So, um, like when Nirvana became popular, uh, my father, he called and he said, you know, this isn't going to last, right? <laughs> and I said, no, of course. Why would it? This, <laughs> yeah, I would can't it? imagine this no, would last exactly. at all. Wow. Um, but then he gave me lots of really great advice. <laughs>